this video, I'll show you how to use the new trim tool. It's an awesome feature that allows you to shape your tree simply by drying in the viewport. I prepared a test scene to show you how the tool works. So first, let me explain how I color coded things in there. <laughs> so if we look in the material panel, we see that we have the deep green for trunk. Then we have pink for caps. But we don't see any caps right now because caps are set to breaks only and we don't have any in this scene. And then we have extensions which are bright green and those we have. And those extensions are set to no breaks. Let me just zoom on those three first candle-like models. And to access the tool, you need to go into the freehand mode and then click on trim. So the first option we have here is cut. To use the tool, you simply need to hold the space bar on your keyboard and then draw on your viewport. And we see now that we draw a break. That means that the cap is now visible because it was set to breaks only and the extensions were no breaks. And we kept the profile curve as is. So if I go into the generator mode and then click on my skin, we can take a look at the profile curve and we see that we get, get only half of that profile curve because the rest has been cut. So it's really like a break. Now we can, if we go back into freehand mode and choose the second option, which is stop, hold space bar on the keyboard and then draw in the viewport. This is like a shape control. So you're going to keep the whole curve, the whole profile curve through the new length of the branch. So this is considering that this is now the whole new branch. So you kept your extensions be because it is not a break. So if I cut the extension, you see I kept the same curve as well there. So it's finishing with a little tip. And then if we look at the other option, which is prune, if I draw on the viewport on the extension, I'm going to lose the, the extension because it was pruned. And in the same goes on if I select the main trunk. Then we have the untrim option. If I click on there and then draw in the viewport, I'm going to be get everything back the way it was before if I draw on something that was trimmed. Then we have other options. So if I select the extension of the second trunk and then on trim selected, I get the full extension back. And then if I just cut it so you can see, I select the trunk, on trim selected, the extension stays cut, but the trunk is now full. And if I cut back the trunk again and then select the trunk and go on untrim selected and descendant, both the extension and the trunk gets full again. Then you can always untrim all if you're unhappy with what you've done and everything will go back to the way it used to be. Now let's go to the other side of the scene where I placed two identical trees. If we go back into the trim tool, we see that we have something called hierarchy level range. Now if I leave it as is, so it's range 0 to 99 and just cut through it, it's going to cut everything. But maybe we don't want that. What if we wanted to keep the trunk and the big branches untouched? if we just want to cut the little branches. If we look into the generator window, if I just zoom here, you see that I identified the branch level with numbers. So it starts with one and finish with four. So it means we can range what we're going to cut. If I enter the number three here, it means that level one and two, which are the trunk and the big branches, will remain untouched. And you can see it directly inside the viewport. So everything that is white will get cut and everything that says the same color will remain untouched. And it goes the same way for the upper level. So maybe I just want to cut the medium branches and leave the little twigs alone. So if I enter two to three, it means that level four 
will remain uncut. So I can just trim my tree and keep those levels there. Then we can untrim the same way and we're going to get everything back. Now I just wanted to show you what it looks like on a real model. So here we have one of our samples and here I want to keep the trunk untouched so I'm entering level 2 in the hierarchy and then choosing cut. And when I draw we see that a cap is appearing because in the generator window I added a cap to break only. So wherever I cut I'm going to get really like a broken branch. So it can be a really great way to prune you know, your tree and to drastically change the silhouette of it. So it's very quick, it's easier than to go into node mode and then individually change all those branches. And if you want something that is smoother, you can always use the stop one and then it's going to act as shape control. So you're going to keep all your extensions and keep, for example, here we have twigs that are at the end of the big branches. And then it's as easy to prune or untrim what you did so you can have a lot of fun with it. And all, as always, you can untrim all if you're really unhappy with what you did and you didn't lose any work. There is one last thing I wanted to show you in the test scene, what happens with the procedural properties. So I'm cutting the first branch, stopping the second one and then pruning the extension. And now I'm going back into generator mode and then into the branch generator and I'll increase the length of the branches. So you see that the cut still remains. So the branches will not get any longer, but there's a difference of behavior between the one that was cut and the one that was stopped. So the one that was cut, you see that the twigs are getting longer because it's considered a break. So the parent branch is still getting longer underneath the break. So if I go back into freehand mode and then untrim the one selected, you see that the branch is much, much longer. And the other one is a shape control. So the little twigs will remain the same size with the, the stop, the trimming that you did. So if I go back, then go back into generator mode. And if I increase the number of steps on those branch, you see that uh, the trim will remain. But if I remove those completely and then re-add, I'll lose the cut. For this reason, we recommend keeping trimming for last when you're creating your asset. It should really be the icing on top of your modeling cake. So have fun using the procedural tools and then when you're ready, go into the freehand mode and bend, trim, have fun polishing your asset. That's it for the trim tool. Happy gardening!